Okay, let's try this again without honking the horn, so to speak. Because I have a feeling that that's what screwed us over in the end. And now I just want to make sure that no one else is around like that invisible guy. Ah, okay, it was just this girl. I guess that's the only thing I have to deal with now. That's fine. I'm actually going to be able to make a move now because I didn't want to before. But it looks like now I have the opportunity, I'll be able to go down here and see what the hell is going on here with this guy. Ooh, that was close. I hope he can't see me. Alright, let's... Did we eliminate... Was that Edgar, the guy that we just got right there? Huh. I guess that was that. Okay, well, we'll drop him this way here. He was neutralized, which I guess is good. And let me actually just take this potion here really quickly. So we have to signal Lizzie by using the ship horn. Was this really the the whole thing? So I guess it was... That was kind of weird, I guess. Oh, of course, we should have gone on from the bottom here. Ah, okay, so there's our metal hatch opened right there. So that could have been a way down, I guess. Let's check our void gaze here. What is down this way? Is it just the bone charm? Should probably turn this off, then I can see. Alright, we're gonna grab the bone charm here. This is the guy I'm guessing that he threw off the boat. Alright, let's get back up. Let's get back up. Before someone sees us here. Alright, let's get back up inside the ship here before I get eaten alive now. So there's like... A couple of things that we're going to get screwed by. Alright, come on, hagfish. Can I please get up? Thank you. My gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Fuck you, hagfish. You're a dick. Anyways, looks like everybody's done here, and all we need to do is sound the horn, and then Ms. Lizzie will come running to us, hopefully, to take us exactly where we want to go. That could have gone a lot better, in my opinion, as well, but... I guess that's just kind of the stuff that happens. I'm guessing also the mission's not over because there's so many runes that we could have grabbed here. And that's really all I'm worried about. So, without further ado, let us get out of Void Gaze here and let's signal the horn. Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the Dead Eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Well, that was completely horrid. Let's talk to Lizzie here. Set me up to be taken by the City Watch, and you followed him, took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you, all of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. Lizzie's stride is freaking crazy. Let's talk to her. That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore, not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the header gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The geezer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. Holy crap, so it looks like we still have a place to go here, back to the textile mill. You gotta be kidding me, man. Looks like also since they're friendly, we should be able to walk freely around here, which is nice for us, of course. So, I guess we have work to do still. I mean, 
Somehow I'm not surprised. All right, can I please get up? Thank you. Why can't this open for me now that I'm friends with them? Very odd, very odd gang of people indeed. But, oh well, I guess it is what it is, right? We have to be very careful around them still. Because one slip up and then we're screwed. And I'm pretty sure we got an autosave, so I don't have to worry about anything like that. Anyways here. How's it going, guys? How, how you doing? Are you doing better now that I'm here? Hopefully. Let's... I wonder if I missed anything over this way. It doesn't quite look like it, although I will grab whatever this is. Over. Oh, some Tivian ore. Very nice. We've got to buy the favors next mission anyways. So let's see what we can do about helping that guy out here, since he's definitely in dire need of assistance. And I can't remember if these are hatters or not. It doesn't look like it because they have those hooks. So I'm very happy with that. Give me some more Tivian ore. Thank you very much. And, ooh, some processed whale. All this money and stuff you can pick up after you become friendly with them. Oh, that is so nice. I'm so glad that that is a thing. Anyways, we need to get back to this Hatter area, the Draper Ward, and go find this guy. Because we need to... I don't know what we're going to end up bribing him with, honestly. But we're going to need to get him to give us the coil nonetheless. And that's going to be probably the tough part. Because there's probably a ton of Hatters still in the district that are ready to take our heads off. But it looks like we've been doing everything okay so far, so this is this this mission is freaking awesome. I really love this mission. Alright, what is going on here besides the lag on load? I do not know. But what I will do is blink up this way. Please. Thank you. Do not want to get seen right out the bat here. Even though these guys all look like uh, non-hatters to me, they all look like the our friendlies, unfortunately. But I don't know if they know we're friends yet, right? Because... That could be a bad situation there. Anyways, I think there was some wine for us to drink over here, which is always nice. Okay, now we need to find our way back, though. And that's going to be kind of tough because of all the shit that's already gone down here. So, that's the only thing I'm worried about. Alright, yeah, there's no way for me to... It looks like I can actually blink on that light from here. But also looks kind of deceiving because when I look down, like, the blink doesn't go very far. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to try to go back the way I came because that seems to me like the best way to do things here. And see, look, there's Emily's doll. It's kind of a throwback to the Dumbwall Trials achievements. Actually, you were supposed to find Emily's dolls in all the levels. Apparently, they're hidden all about. So, very interesting. Yeah, see, these guys are all... Dead eels, you guys should be in love with me right now, but I guess they don't think exactly how I do here, but that's fine. There is a guy in here that I want to take out because he is hiding some tools and other goodies that are probably really good for us here. So I'll actually, can I blink in his window here? Let's grab him. Who are you, sir? Jerome's vault key. Oh, okay, so we got a vault key now. Some pistols, some good stuff here. Food, even though I don't need it anymore. But nonetheless, we're going to get some good money here, it looks like. Ah, yes, I love it so much. It looks like you know, almost 160 gold here. And we got a search from, for Ox Rush, whatever that is. Let's see. Ox Rush Flower is prized for its alchemical and medicinal properties. Very interesting. Actually, what I wanted to do was get pull 2 now that I have the runes. Almost forgot about that. And we also have bone charms, which are nice, but now we have to find this flower. And I have, excuse me, I have no idea where it is. And that could be bad. Hmm. Where is this flower at? I haven't seen anything, any other notes or anything similar to that mentioning this flower. So I'm guessing I'm just going to run over it and then I'm going to get screwed. But I'm guessing the key is going to allow me into that vault over there the bank by grabbing Jerome's key, I'm guessing. I don't know. I could be wrong about that too, but, you know, I've been wrong about a lot of things, and I'm pretty sure that this is safe, so I'm going to blink right across here, because I did take out that guy there. Okay. Now we're back here with Jerome's vault. I'm really hoping this is Jerome's vault, and I'm not just talking out of my ass, but I guess we'll find out, right? Yeah, okay, the key's still required for the safe, one of which I do not have. And the textile mill is back over that way, exactly where we just were. Which also kind of sucks. Oh well, let's see if we can get back under this bridge. Because the way that we took under this place was a really good way, in my opinion, to get get around. So, 
Let's see if we can actually replicate this process here. Just going to make sure that nobody sees us around this way again. I want to make a save here because we've made considerable progress. We actually got a ton of money there, which is nice. We'll be able to buy some upgrades that we picked up a little bit a while ago. I'm just so glad as well that we got the Choke Dust upgrade because uh, it makes things so much easier. Once I start using it, there, I really haven't found a good place to use it yet. So that's that's kind of my fault, I guess, in a way, because I haven't found a good place to use it. I haven't made myself a good place to use it yet. So that's what I'm kind of up against as well. We still have these guys hanging over here, so I want to get up on to a nice vantage point. Or else I could be doomed to die, and that's never good here. Yeah, I want to get up on top of the sun. This looks like a good place to be that they can't see us at just quite yet. I don't like how they're on high alert and they keep saying, huh? Once again, it makes me think that they found me every time, and I don't like that. Let's Hold on. Okay, that was really bad. That could have been horrible. <sighs> no one can see me, right? Alright. Can I blink on top of the chandelier? Oh, I can. That is huge. Okay. Now, this is exactly where we were supposed to be before that we would have gotten in trouble in otherwise. But now we have at least a direction, of course. And we have an arc pylon that we have to deal with. And that's, that makes me nervous more than anything else right now. It's these Dealing with these arc pylons are no fun. Not at all. So I'm going to have to find a quick way to get around. Or at least an aerial way to get around. Let's see what I'm missing around here. Am I missing runes? Doesn't look like... Oh, shit, there's a person right there. <gasps> that could have been bad, right? If she turns around and sees me. Or if he turns around and sees me. Or maybe not. Maybe he's just going to be completely oblivious. Which I do not mind at all once again. Alright, I will take him out when he turns around. I feel like it's a good way to free up some space for myself. And I don't think there's anyone to my left, so I don't have to worry about that too much, right? I guess I'll wait a little bit longer. Alright, now we'll get him. Let's see. Oh, this is one of the guys that was waiting over there by the entrance as well. Okay, so that part is done in a way. We got some whale oil here if we wanted to use it, but we don't. So if we went this way, we probably would have been greeted by a really horrible series of events that would have caused my death because we would not have been prepared for an arc pile, and I will say that right off the bat here. And I don't want to rewire it necessarily. I want to take out the whale oil, obviously, because I want to not kill any of these people down here. And that's another thing that I worry about eventually is not being able to do any of this stuff here. I will make a save because this is a pretty integral moment of this mission. Ah, this is making me nervous. Very nervous once again. All right, let's see. All right, there's our whale oil tank. So we have to time this pretty much right. I mean, if it's wrong, if the timing's wrong, we're screwed because we're going to get shocked and we're going to die or someone's going to try to check out the whale oil and they're going to see us. And that also makes me nervous because if that's the case, then we're doubly screwed. What I actually am considering right now is taking out this guy once he walks around that corner there. Because I'm pretty sure the arc pylon does not reach around corners. I could be wrong about that too. I've been hit by the arc pylon before, so I should know. But I think I got hit by it when I was like right on the ground over there. I don't know, but that's why I saved because now I can at least experiment, right? I don't think it'll reach me over there either. I'm pretty sure I could take him out without this guy seeing me right now because of the state that he's in, but since he turned around, I would have been caught anyways. Alright, I will wait one more cycle for these guys to make their rounds, and then I will make a move regardless of what it is. Alright, so he's walking over this way. These guys have really long cycles of guarding. Let's go back and avoid guys. I want to see where the, guy, the second guy is. I never want to lose sight of him because he's the guy I want to take out. Okay, so he's turned around. He's not in a good spot there. I'm waiting for him to go over around that corner because I feel like that'll be perfect. And I want to strike, obviously, at the perfect moment. So I'll wait the two seconds it takes to get out of these both of these guys' visions here. Oh, this is pretty much as perfect as it gets, right? Oh, my God. That was freaking perfect. Damn it. I got to load the game. I will see you after the load. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try this again, again, again. So this will be the third again, I guess. I don't know. I just why do you do this to me, game? I do not understand why you plan on hurting me so. All right, here we go. Now we got this. We're gonna carry you all the way over here, and we will drop you right cha. Perfect. So. I think we're fine. The guys, once again, are just being dicks. Okay, so that's done. That's step one. We're going to save over that. All right, now I'm happy because now we have at least a little bit more free roam time to do this. So let's try this one more time once again. See what we can do about things. I wish I could get to the chandelier from here, but I guess I'm just unlucky in that regard. Can I... Get on top of here. All right. I don't really care about my mana right now. Okay. So we needed that key apparently to get into the control box of this thing. That would have ended up killing us if we did not get the key. So that was pretty important that we did that. All right. Yeah. I don't want to be leaning right now. I want to be able to get on top of here. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm going to blink right down in here. Alright, and now, where can I go? I do not know, honestly, where I can go right now. Hopefully he won't see me being down here and all that. He's completely blind. Probably because I have a bonus of being in a shadow right now. So I'm gonna sneak behind him. Pickpocket him, and he should be down for the count. Okay, that was kind of crazy, if you ask me. But, nonetheless, we did it here. So we got some arc pylon instructions we would have gotten screwed over by if that was the case. So now we have the password to get in here. So let's call the intercom. What's the password? Let's go to the textile mill. Whalebone. Come in, Hatter. And here we go. The Draper's Ward Textile Mill. We can get in and hopefully... The, get the geezer, if you will, to give us this coil. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but that's kind of really grotesque. But nonetheless, we have this textile mill stuff to do. This mission is, is getting longer, and I'm really excited for it. But now we're in the textile mill. Sir, the Hatters are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Wow. So at any time, we can get completely destroyed here by the poison gas, which is really cool here. A combination is needed to reach the engine coil. Find the geezer to see if he will make a deal to give it up. Whether or not we're going to be able to do that, I do not know, but looks like we're dealing with Wall of Lights, among other things here. We got a Bone Charm to look forward to, as well as other things, but man, I think, I think I'm going to need a break. My, my poor heart can't take things right now. Whew, okay. Very interesting. Whoa! That was, uh, interesting. If you read that down there in the subtitles, they're talking about... The Empress and I getting together around here, that's kind of... Well, I mean, it's not exactly creepy, because I knew that they were together, but nonetheless, it was still, like, a large surprise to me. Oh, well. Oh, it looks like... It looks like he was going to come out and attack me. I'm like, I have no idea what he's going to do, but... I guess we figured that out really quickly, right? Alright, we're going to be able to take him out. Alright, come on, go to sleep. Perfect. I'll take you back here. Don't worry. You'll be nice and safe against this wall over here. But you're unconscious, and that's, you know, that's all that matters to me, at least. Alright, let's see what we can do about grabbing that bone charm, and then we'll have a good, we'll be at a good stopping point, I think. To take a break here. Rest my weary head. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. Stop doing that. Make sure you got your supernatural powers picked correctly next time, but that's fine. We'll get the Tivian ore here. Get our last bone charm. I think we've got all the corrupted charms and all the bone charms from all of this. So, oh no, we still have two more bone charms possibly to do. 
I'm guessing Submariner has to do with swimming, right? Yeah, regain health while submerged in water. Actually, that is pretty cool, and that is a nice little throwback to Mario there, if you did not catch it. I mean, it's kind of subtle, but to gain your health back in Mario, what you could do is submerge yourself in water, and you'd get all of your, your health back, as I said before, in a sort of redundant fashion. Can we blink all the way over here, please? That would be fantastic. All right, cool. So... Now we're at a really good stopping point. I will catch you next time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little session of the Dishonored DLC, Brigmore Witches. We'll continue with the textile mill in a little bit. Catch you guys later. Have a great night. Peace out. Bye, guys. Hey there. You've just finished an episode of my Let's Play of Dishonored, the Brigmore Witches DLC. Thank you very much for watching, and feel free to leave a comment if you have anything to say. And if you want more, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.